In the previous video, we discussed about protein transport into mitochondrial matrix. Now in this video, we will be discussing about protein transport into inner mitochondrial membrane. For this protein transport, we see there are two pathways. The major two pathways that mediates the transfer of cytosolic proteins to the inner mitochondrial membrane. As we have already seen, the translocons are present in both the membranes of mitochondria to facilitate this transport. And it's these translocons through which the proteins cross the respective membranes. In the pathway A, we see a channel pore called TOM40 is present in the outer membrane of mitochondria. And in the inner membrane, there is a TIM2317 complex which forms the protein pore in the inner membrane. That's translocon of inner membrane. That's why it's called a TIM. And apart from these translocons, there is another protein present in inner membrane called OXA1 which acts as insertase. It inserts the proteins from mitochondrial matrix to the inner mitochondrial membrane. Now the question arises here, what kind of proteins use this pathway? It's when the proteins contains two different target sequences. A protein with matrix targeting sequence and a protein with OXA targeting sequence uses this kind of pathway. The proteins are kept in an unfolded state by HSC70 molecules present on the cytosolic side. These HSC70 molecules are very different than the matrix HSC70. We'll see later on what matrix HSC70 does in this pathway. And then these unfolded proteins enter the TOM40 pore and are directed into the TIM2317 complex of inner mitochondrial membrane. When the proteins get through the TIM complex, that's translocon of inner membrane, the matrix HSC70 comes in and pulls in the protein into matrix and here in the matrix the MPP cleavage occurs which is mediated by matrix processing protease. We saw here that matrix HSC70 has a property to pull in the protein whereas the cytosolic HSC70 has property to capture the protein in an unfolded state. Now what this MPP cleavage is? This is a process where the matrix targeting sequences are removed from protein and the rest of the protein is left with OXA targeting sequence only. And after this, the OXA targeting sequence on protein is recognized by OXA1 protein in inner membrane of mitochondria, which then inserts the protein into inner mitochondrial membrane as shown in diagram. So this is how OXA1 protein transports protein with OXA targeting sequence into inner mitochondrial membrane. Now in the pathway B, we will see how proteins with internal targeting sequence are transported directly into the inner mitochondrial membrane. In this pathway, the outer membrane has got major translocon, that's TOM40, along with TOM70. The TOM40 forms the protein pore, while as the TOM70 acts as an import receptor for internal targeting sequences. On the inner membrane, it has got TIM2254 complex, which acts as a translocase as well as insertase. In this pathway, the preproteins with internal targeting sequence are recognized by TOM70, which then upon recognition, directs proteins into TOM40 pore and transports protein into intermembrane space, while the transport is mediated by intermembrane space translocons called the TIM910 complex. This complex, that's the TIM910 complex, helps in transporting proteins towards the inner membrane translocon, that's TIM2254 complex. And finally, the TIM22 complex targets the protein into inner mitochondrial membrane to its final destination. Remember that the transport of hydrophobic precursor proteins is mediated by TIM910 complex in intermembrane space. So this is how the proteins with internal targeting sequences are transported into intermitochondrial membrane. This is all about transport of proteins into the inner mitochondrial membrane. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.